Dissection Specimen Kit. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan, if you're new here, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a big curriculum and book haul for the next upcoming school year. Can't wait to show you what's in here. Let's get to it. So I know it's March, <laughs> but once January rolls around, I get in full on curriculum planning mode. I don't know if you guys are the same way. I know some people don't even get in curriculum planning mode until the school year ends, but I start thinking about the upcoming year because I start evaluating what we liked, what we didn't like, what we're going to keep for the next year, how our whole dynamic might be changing next year all the things and a big part of that is because we are part of a co-op and our schedule and registration is around this time of year and because we like to see if we can maybe plan some of the classes in our co-op as part of our core curriculum here at home since there are some academic along with enrichment things at our co-op so there's a lot of things that go into the planning process for me but that's not what this video is about maybe i will make a separate video about that if you guys are interested in it but I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that we are getting in the mail right now for the upcoming school year. Now, some of the things you're going to see, I've got a stack of just books that I have gotten. I have lots of curriculum starting to roll in. And I actually have a couple more packages that are on the way um, that won't be in this video, but I will be sharing my curriculum pick videos for next year here pretty soon. So if you're not subscribed, make sure that you push that subscribe button. And if you don't have the notification bell on, make sure you push that notification bell so you know when those curriculum videos are out. Just for reference, next year I will have two middle schoolers, an eighth and a sixth grader, along with a fourth grader, a third grader, and a first grader and a preschooler. So lots of varieties of ages there. So let's get to this haul. That's what this that's what this video is about, right? So let's get to this haul. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna share with you guys. A lot of this is already, I mean, it's already unboxed. I just opened it and got it out, you know, as it came in. The first thing I want to share with you guys is our history for next year, which if you have been around my channel this year, you know how much we are loving our history, which is Biblio Plan. We are continuing with it next year. And so we are doing the um, early modern times. So this is about explore. So this year we... Are finishing up medieval times and so that'll bring us back to um, exploration into around 1850-ish right before the Civil War so that's what we'll be studying for next year so this is like the text that we will be reading through um, and we also of course got the family guide which is kind of the heart of the whole planning for this program. Uh, if you want to see any videos on the one we're currently doing, so you can get an idea of what it's like, I will link that down below. If you'd like to see a flip through of this one, let me know and um, I can try to do that as well. To go along with it, I got the timeline book. We do really enjoy this. This is something that we do together as a family, um, just to, place everybody and all the events and things like that on the timeline just to get the good visual. I also got the cool history for middles, which is basically the like workbook pages. Um, the hands-on maps, and this is the map work that you can get to go along with it. And all of these pieces, you can really customize this curriculum to be what you want it to be. You don't have to have all these pieces um, you can just get what you need for your family. Also got the coloring book, as well as the hands-on early modern history. Um, it's learning culture through crafts, food, and fun. So this is like a craft book. This is something I'm really excited about next year. It's been a while since I've made room in our homeschool for a lot of crafts, just because of the ages and ranges and life happening. But that is something I want to be more intentional about next year. So 
that is our history. You'll hear more about that in those curriculum videos coming up soon. But that is that. The next thing curriculum wise that I got in the mail is this just basic language arts eight, um, grade eight. Um, I, the, the reason I got this is actually because this is part of the package on the Memoria Press website for eighth grade. And I just wanted something like really straightforward to continue with the grammar for my eighth grade son. Um, he's really strong in grammar, actually, like when it comes to doing this kind of stuff and fix it grammar and all that that we've done in the past. Um, and this is more so just to keep it in practice and I like the way, the simplicity of it and how it was laid out. So I grabbed that. It was also like $9. So the next thing that I grabbed, and I actually did this in like two separate orders basically. So I ordered this and this, the Matthew C. Pre-Algebra instructional set and the instruction manual. I ordered these on eBay actually used for a really good price because I then went and purchased the student materials, the tests, and the workbook um, for my son uh, from Rainbow Resource. So, that is the next thing that I got, and that is new for us this year. We've never done math, you see, but um, for pre-algebra and upper-level math, I thought that that might be a good fit for us because it is video-based and that is also what they are using at our co-op to teach all of the upper level math. And so I'm going to utilize the fact that they are teaching math at our co-op. Um, the next thing that I purchased, and like I said, I will share more about this stuff in those curriculum videos and how I'm going to be utilizing this plus the stuff that's not going to be in this haul. Because like I said, there's more on the way. Um, but... The next thing that I got is the World of Biology. Um, this is for middle school. And I ordered this. Uh, this is the Memoria Press version of it. This is a book that is put out by Masterbooks. However, with Memoria Press, you have these add-on pieces to it. Um, this is not a full year of science. Again, I'll go more into depth. <laughs> once I put the curriculum videos out. But these, this is for my middle school boys. I'm actually really excited about this for next year. Um, and as I said, I'll share more about that. But that is what I got um, in this package as well. The next thing I got is this sentence diagramming book. Now, this is the beginning book. I probably, now that I'm looking at it in person, probably should have gotten the second level of this uh, because it does start out really incredibly easy. It does, you know, go up quite a bit towards the end. But I got this with my eighth grade son in mind. He actually really loves diagramming sentences. He used to do a curriculum called Analytical Grammar that was really intensive with the sentence diagramming. He enjoyed the diagramming part and really he actually requested just a book that he could diagram sentences in. So he's, you know, I got him that and then this, but I am probably going to order him the second level once he finishes that. Okay, so the next thing, the next thing that I got, and this goes with the biology thing, it's not a necessary item, hold on, but it is something that I did want to order, and that is, hold on. That is a dissection specimen kit. Yay! Um, <laughs> they're excited about it. It comes with the little trays that they can dissect in and all the tools that they're going to need and the guides on how to do it and so on and so forth. But this contains a frog, <laughs> an earthworm, and a massive grasshopper. So, they're going to have fun with that. That is for my boys who are doing the intro, like the little intro exploring biology thing. Um, I thought that that would be a fun thing to add in when they are learning about those different um, types of creatures. Anyway, so that is theirs. 
Um, the next thing that I added to that order is we are going to be doing a lot more like nature study and things like that. Again, that will be in those curriculum videos. I keep saying that, but I'm trying not to go into depth on all that stuff because that's not what this video is about. But because we had some of these in the past, I'm not really sure what happened to them. I'm sure they got broken, but I got a couple more of them. But these are those like little hand microscopes. Um, and these are great just when you go on like little hikes and when you're doing nature study and stuff like that, just to get a closer look at little specimens and such. Um, so I grabbed a couple more of those to put in our little science box of, of things to use. So, um, the next thing in my order or the next thing that I ordered is I ordered the last level of all about reading. So, um, this is, like I said, level four of all about reading. This will be the last level that one of my sons is doing and he will be done. Now this will be completed probably over the summer. He actually will be moving into this pretty soon. Um, so this isn't even really for next year, but it is in this curriculum hall because it came the other day. Um, and we love all about reading. It has been such a huge part of our homeschool, especially having a son with dyslexia. Um, that has been quite a journey if you are new around here, but um, that is the level four of All About Reading. And now that is all the actual curriculum in this haul, but I did want to share with you guys some of the books that I ordered as well. Some of these are just for fun. I always like to see the things that they have on Book Outlet. There's a, a lot of times I find some really good finds. And some of these things will be used as actual curriculum, like literature choices next year. Again, in a separate video. So from Book Outlet, and I actually have another order I just remembered from Book Outlet that I will share later, but I, I don't have it here yet. It's on its way. So um, I got Skunk and Badger. So this book, I have seen people talk about it and recommend it, and I thought that it might be a fun one for some of my kiddos to read. So it's kind of a newer series, and so I grabbed that off a of book outlet. I also grabbed Tom Sawyer because that is going to be an assigned read for my oldest next year. I also grabbed Call It Courage. Again, that will be an assigned read for next year. I also grabbed Squanto, Friend of Pilgrims. That will be an assigned read for next year. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's any other. Oh, A Gathering of Days. That's another one that's going to be assigned to one of my kiddos next year. Um, and then I actually picked up these from a used bookstore that's not far from us. Um, these are the American Girl books, and I got, um, Meet Josefina, Kirsten, whoop, Kaya, Felicity, and these are all brand new, like the spines haven't even been opened on these, and Molly, this is random out of, like, <laughs> these are going to be used in, uh, conjunction with our history for next year. I'm going to assign some of those as like historical fiction type things. This is just because my daughter loves Molly and um, she's been watching the Molly movie that they made years back and so I got her the book. But I grabbed those for my daughter. I These are all just for fun books. I grabbed off of Book Outlet, I grabbed Rocks a Boxin. This is such a neat story. I also grabbed Squanto's Journey, Jamberry, and for my, um, and, and then I also grabbed Paddle to the Sea. I couldn't believe, okay, so these two books, I could not believe that I actually found them on Book Outlet, okay? I was so excited when I found these uh, on Book Outlet because I had like a credit there, but then also they were a really good price. So, I got Paddle to the Sea, um, and then I also got Men of the Mississippi. 
So, like I said, I was really excited about that. These are great for, like, geography and stuff. And I didn't have them yet. And there are a couple of books that I've always wanted to grab. So, that is the last two that I grabbed from uh, Book Outlet in this order. So, when we start getting curriculum in. I just feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> it's, like, so exciting. And my mind starts racing with like all the ideas for next year and um then I always have to remind myself oh wait we got to finish this year strong which we are we are working really hard and finishing this year strong it's been a great year and this makes me excited for next year this is the kind of stuff that keeps us homeschool mamas going <laughs> but anyway so if there's any of this stuff that you have questions about or want to see like a deeper look or anything like that uh, let me know down in the comment section. And as I said, I will be release, releasing those curriculum videos pretty soon. So stay on the lookout for those. And I hope you guys have a very blessed day. Thanks so much, guys. <laughs>